first, allow me to introduce our first speaker this morning. He was appointed the group chief officer since 2012. And he is responsible for strategic planning and overall operations of Pan Pages. I believe some of you have guessed it already. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the CEO of Pan Pages Group, Mr. Fong Wai Long. Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for taking your time uh, to come by this morning uh, and to participate in our SME Digital Day. I hope you guys are having fun. Uh, it's still early in the morning, but it's never too early to have fun. Uh, you enjoy your breakfast here? Okay. Okay. Today, the title of today's convention is Big Presence and Global Reach. How we coined this title is actually to do with the technology of Internet. Internet is the most revolution force created by man that we ever seen. It has changed the landscape of our business, how we do business, how we live our life, and especially SME that has been affected by this technology. So today, there'll be a lot of speakers talk about the technology of internet, be it internet marketing, cloud computing, mobility, and big data. So the speakers will mention, will discuss, will actually uh, show a lot of success stories, how to utilize and harness the technology of internet. So uh, we, <laughs> technology, internet technology, actually there's about only three things on it that cover. It's about communication, how we communicate. We used to send snail mail, uh, fax. I think those are almost disappeared. Now we send a lot of emails, WhatsApps. I do a lot of WhatsApps with my uh, team. That's how we communicate most of the time. And I communicate my daughter with WhatsApps as well. So that's the way we have changed how we communicate. Connecting is all about connecting one person to another person, one buyer to another seller. Someone always looking for something on the net to buy, and someone will always try to sell something. So how you connect, and internet is the shortest way for this two person to connect. So it's all about connecting. And third is resource center. There's a lot of resources on the internet. First, there's information. Information become intelligence. And they now plug in a lot of servers, a lot of software up on the net, and has become cloud computing power. So it's a resource center that you should tap on to use it to your own advantage. So there's a lot of stuff in the internet. Internet is powerful, yet disruptive. As you already know, that internet is a force that nobody can control. Maybe the Chinese government, they can. Uh, there has been blocking Google to go in, so Google is still complaining about it. So the Chinese government can do it. But most of different parts of the world, you cannot control internet. Internet has disrupted the movie industry, the music industry, the banking, the telcos, trading companies, everything. 
it has disrupted and actually bankrupted quite a number of companies like the big bookstores in America. And something this powerful, you just need to learn to live with it. Don't fight it. The, I, I want to talk about this uh, storm chaser a little bit. In America, there are people that actually chase the storm, the tornadoes and the twister and so on. They want to learn about what is in the twister, tornadoes, why it happens and so on. So these are the people that actually study the storm. So in internet storm, there are a lot of uh, people who study this. People like from Google, uh, Matt, uh, I think he's on his way, uh, Matt Heller from Google, he's going to share with you what is Google all about and what are the, the Google new technology, new projects. We have Alibaba, Timothy Leong, Timothy Leong is uh, on a plane now, uh, on the way to KL. So Alibaba is the dragon of uh, internet. They are going IPO, the biggest IPO in the world. So Timothy is uh, flying from Hong Kong. He's reaching about lunchtime. So he's going to share with you what is Alibaba, uh, what's happening in Alibaba and how Alibaba is going to help the SME. The Alibaba, they always say they fight for the smaller guys. So that's one of their regions. And of course, we have uh, many speaker, Rich Singh from uh, NetSuite, going to talk about cloud. Uh, ERP Cloud to be more specific, you got uh, my good friend Injek Aimi Aiza. Uh, I know him since like uh, 20 years ago. He's one of the craziest guy around. He is really crazy because he spent all his money and borrowed millions of dollars 17 years ago to start a search engine before Google. But now, he's a very successful businessman. He founded Scali. Uh, now, he do a lot of cloud infrastructure. Number one in Malaysia. That's Inche Aimi. And uh, we have uh, Cheryl Go of MyTaxi. You talk about mobility. Fantastic apps is uh, something uh, breakthrough. Uh, that, uh, how we use apps to take taxi. Uh, and uh, we have uh, Mr. Tan, uh, Tan Sai Hub. SME magazine, you talk about, uh, the, actually he's the voice of SME, the magazine. Yeah, you talk about what SME aspire to be, what is our challenges and so on. So, and we got my colleague that uh, going to share with you, uh, Chris, Chris Ng, Michael Chia, Mr. Tong and Mr. Song. So these are the storm chaser that going to share with you a little bit insights about in internet. Okay, internet, like I say, is a very disruptive force. They create big wave, tsunami kind of wave that can really destroy. Okay, so you have to borrow the power of the wave. Like a surfer does, a surfer actually, they got no motor, they got no, there's nothing powering the surfboard. All you need to do is just borrow the power of the wave. So, of course, we Asians, we don't surf. Uh, we can't surf, so we can actually uh, do Tai Chi, <laughs> okay? Almost all Asian, especially Chinese people, know Kung Fu, uh, for your information. We all know Kung Fu. So we all know Tai Chi. Tai Chi is about borrowing the power. The concept of borrowing the power of your opponents, when someone trying to hit you, you just take his power and whack him back on the face. That's what you do. You borrow the power. So the concept of borrowing power in Tai Chi, we borrow the power from the internet. We borrow power from Google. We borrow power from Alibaba. Uh, we borrow power from NetSuite. Yeah. These are the things that we need to borrow the power because they are so big. They are so powerful. We just can't fight them. Actually, all you need to do is borrow some of the uh, power from these guys. So, what we have done as a pen pages as a company, uh, we wrote the wave. Uh, we started out 25 years ago 
as a directory uh, print. We were connecting buyers and sellers for 25 years for SME. After you do it for 25 years, I think we are pretty good at it. Uh, then, five years ago, we move on with internet. We try to ride the wave of internet five years ago. We went totally online. We embraced the internet. That was when pen pages was born. So then we worked with Google, Alibaba. Then another thing is with internet, we expand rapidly. The borders was broken. We expanded to Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, Indonesia, and Philippines. That's where we expanded to. That's because of internet, we can expand. So you have to ride the wave. So the, the, you, you just can't fire it. And it's actually disrupted our business as a print directory. But we have to change. If we don't change, we won't be around today. So we changed five years ago. We have to write on it. And then we adjust our sale. And then we move on. And then we grow, actually, through it. A peek into the future, quickly, I'll take you through. We've got a lot of smart devices that most of you are using. Now got variables. Apple come up with a watch, Apple watch, yesterday. Um, quite funky. A helmet, Google glasses, and all these things. You can wear your technology now. It's all here. Well, almost everything. Your car is connected to the internet. Google bought the company called Nest. Sm smoke detector, thermostat, connected to the internet. Your refrigerator, your washing machine, everything will be connected to the internet. It will be, definitely. And most important, your wallets are connected to the internet. Apple, last night, they just launched Apple Pay. They make Apple iPhone that they can use to pay with a lot of uh, merchants that you can pay using your iPhone. They just launched it. Actually, Google Wallet started it. Google Wallet, you can use Google uh, Android phone to pay in America. But now iPhone suddenly jump into it called Apple Pay. So your customers' wallets are connected to the internet. They are ready to spend. So I think my wallet most probably going to connect to the internet. So everybody will be connected to the internet. And what you call this is actually the internet of things. In uh, 2020, some experts say 24 billion internet of things will be connected to the net. And it's actually four times more than the human population of the world. Everything, everything is there. I mean, it's quite scary. Your house, there'll be like, what, 10 items connected to the net in the future, which is a very, very scary thought. The future is rushing straight to you. It's coming to you 300 kilometers an hour. It's rushing straight to you. You don't want to be the deer that caught with the headlights and not moving. You have to react. It's coming so fast that sometimes we also can't react fast enough because it's happening just, the technology just changes. Like our business plan, we have a three years business plan that get obsolete maybe uh, in three months. It's, it's so fast. Things change too fast. I talk about small and big. The, some of the, actually, internet is the best tools an SME can have. It actually helps the smaller guys, internet. So there, you, you see some of the winners on the internet. The, it's like uh, Asia, we all know Asia. Actually, Asia started out as a small company. It was in, by 
owned by DRB a long time ago. When Tony Fernandez took over, there's only two planes only. Because he used internet, because he used internet so well that Air Asia became the largest budget airlines in the world. Because he used internet, e commerce, buying tickets, print your own tickets. Malaysian Airlines, a lot of bad luck in the recent year, uh, are very unfortunate, was a bit slow because they were big, they are a bit difficult to move, difficult to adapt, difficult to adjust because they were a big corporation, so they lose out. So actually, smaller companies can, and you are more agile to adopt new technology and win the market. Amazon was a small company, they were just selling books. Now they sell everything. Stapler is actually a bigger company in America. They sell office supplies and so on. They went online. Shashinki is a Malaysian company based in JB. They sell cameras from brick and mortar to online. And there's many local companies, winners like boutique hotels. The boutique hotels are beating the chain hotel, the established. Cafes are winning. There's a lot of small guys are winning. So, it's okay to be small. Small can now be found. As long as your product is good, your services is good, people review, people talk about you on the internet, there will be a lot of people talk about you, whether on your Facebook, on your page and everything. The more people talk about you, you will be found. So, it's okay to be small on the net now. And this behavioral buying is called hybrid behavior. A lot of people now actually do research online and purchase offline. So it's not like I research online and I buy online. I research my camera online. I look at all the specs and so on. Then actually I go to a shop and buy because I know the owner. Then I talk to him, I get a discount and so on. Then I got problem, I can go back. So that's what we do. People actually research online and purchase offline. More seamlessly they do this. Big online presence. This is one of the strategy you should have is to have a big online presence. Like uh, on the, the photo there, the cat actually have a bigger lion shadow in the net because you can be bigger. How you want to be perceived online is up to you. How you show your product, your company, yourself is up to you and you can be larger than life. You actually can. That's, that's why you need to have a big online presence. Strategy number two, you have to have global reach. You've got to be everywhere. You're not, you, you just can't be one place. You have to be in Sunway, Puchong, Damansara, Kuching, Singapore, Bangkok. Jakarta, big market in Indonesia, uh, Ho Chi Minh City, you've got to be everywhere, even America. But, or how you do it to be everywhere, you cannot set up the shops, but you can use it, use the internet, you can clone yourself, clone your online presence, you can clone it as many as you want, and you can put everywhere where the audi audience are. So you have to be everywhere, and you have to be global, and you have to go regional. Regional, there's about 600 million people in Southeast Asia. Malaysia, we only got 30 million people. So you have to go up, you have to go global. And the third thing you need to do is leverage on cloud computing. So you need to leverage on cloud computing. I will leave the expert to explain cloud to you. Uh, Rach and uh, Jay Aimee will uh, talk about cloud. I try to explain cloud to you. Eh? It's, a, it's a mysterious thing. Eh? So cloud, if you cannot understand anything cloud, you just imagine there's a monkey god up there. Uh, they call it Xiong Hong in Chinese. So they, when things you cannot understand, there must be a god up there that take care of things. Uh, cloud, you have that kind of magical feel to it. Everything is taken care of. Right? Where you store your money, where you store your photos, somewhere in the cloud, I don't know where. 
your money are somewhere in the cloud. Actually, there's a lot of servers up there, a lot of hardware, software, very expensive stuff up there that you can tap onto it. So, but later, the expert will talk to you about the cloud. And then, you have to keep up with your moving market. The train of future coming in very fast, and they're carrying your market. These are consumers that buy stuff over the internet, over their handphones, over their mobile devices. And these are the guys who is your market is moving away from you if you don't jump on the train. So you have to keep up with the moving market. So today, I hope that uh, this, I'm closing uh, my talk. I hope today you can uh, take something useful uh, uh, from the speakers of their success stories and so on and uh, help your business. Uh, later, there'll be uh, a lot of experts we'll talk about uh, all the things that concern your business and how they can help you uh, to be successful and how to harness the power of internet. Thank you very much. <laughs>